Hello everybody, this is going to be a part two on my video on state powers. I had quite a bit of comments on it. Most were disagreeing with me. Um, I would like to say that some people pointed out some good stuff and I'd also like to commend everybody for not devolving into schoolyard banter and there's actual debates in the comment section about things which was nice to see and that's what I want to see more of. Um, now, in the first video, I could have stated that maybe we don't need a stronger state, that the state already has enough power, they're just not using the power correctly. And someone really um, pointed that out with the CIA, um, spying on people. Um, there's that whole defund the FBI thing um, earlier in in the election uh, cycle. Um and I think that would be more true to the CIA. I don't know what the FBI is doing. It, there's probably, well, not probably, there completely is bur bureaucracy in, in the FBI as well. But the CIA has more blood on its hands, at least that's what it seems. It could be just that's what we're allowed to see. So obviously the whistleblowing uh, Snowden did and others did about the CIA spying. And um, obviously during the 80s, basically funneling cocaine into the United States um, to support um, wars in South America and to pump up Reaganomics and all that. So yeah, obviously the state is powerful. Um, I don't think they need any more taxes. I'm not trying to make a big, um, they need more taxes. That's not what I'm saying when I say stronger state. I, I guess kind of after shooting from the hip with that video, what I kind of really mean is morally stronger. But I also do think, and I retain my opinion that they need the powers to break monopolies, and I also am um, still in favor of a UBI or um, the tax credit that I was corrected on about Milton Freeman, um, which, to be honest, if it's the same amount of money, which it is, um, Milton Freeman, I looked it up, it's the same amount of money under his plan or the UBI, it's just how you receive it, I would be in favor of both. And Milton Freeman and Richard Nixon both being in support of any welfare state program such as that is it to me it shows how needed a program like that is and that's kind of the point that I was trying to make with that reference in the first video now in the second video I want to continue the debate kind of in a different angle um, a lot of people are kind of doing that anarchism um, capitalism anarcho capitalism whatever um, I have a lot of problems with that um, when you go that that far um, beyond the pale because if you do that a state is just going to emerge anyways and the states that typically emerge from um, setups like this are uh, the cartel in Mexico, mafias, gangs, militias. Um, they tried to institute some form of anarchism in Spain. It didn't work. Franco seized control. He literally was putting... 14 inch spikes into people's brains people were tortured they had their fingernails pulled out with pliers not great um another guy brought up um crypto or at least i thought he was i'm not sure if he was because he kind of went silent on me but if you want crypto crypto isn't an actual um gold standard um currency so it, it's the same as as fiat it, it's it, paper money it's it's no difference the only difference is you're using it as an investment you jump in and then you want to get interest on that investment and that's going to be your currency so there's no actual straight line to labor or, or work it's just basically you got on this train you got lucky and you want you're basically arguing for feudalism at that point now back back to the the size of the government. Um, people who argue for anarchism really are either doing the crypto thing or they somehow have this kind of utopian vision that's very naive that they'll somehow um, be with the, the winners and not the losers, that they'll get to pay their, their mob boss for protection and he's never going to extort them or raise the prices on them and he's going to be super pumped that they're opening a small shop and that they're paying their dues and they don't need to pay anymore anyways. It's going to be the same 
government, except you're going to have a guy come around and, and break your legs instead of try to shake you down with bureaucracy and taxes. Now, in that very video, I, I believe I did, and if I didn't, it was in the video previously, I did argue for the, the lowering of um, burden on the working class and um, taking red tape away from opening small businesses. And that is paramount, and I think that the government can and should do that. Um, and I think if you go into a very small state where the government is basically non-existent you're not going to have any any power to referee and you look at things like free speech free speech really needs a government to protect it otherwise you're just going to get mob violence and especially in in the um techno age here online um if there's no government that can oversight things like youtube or TikTok is a big one in the news right now. You're going to get people who are silenced by the, the platform for their political views, which has happened. There has been people that um, have been, I forget the word, it's not ghosted, but um, like uh, muted. Like um, I, I completely draw, draw a blank on that, but shadow banned, I think. Yeah, shadow ban, I think it's called, where um, you can search for someone, they won't come up. And that has very political um, connotations to it. You can you can have a YouTube channel or you can have a TikTok um, account or um, anything. Even Google really could drop the hammer on somebody and not even have their search come up if they wanted to. I'm not sure if they have done that in the past, if, if they've been found guilty of this. Um, but the government can look into this. And without a government, these companies can do whatever they want. And they can really just form um, some kind of political nepotism that they can directly kind of be big brother in our houses, kind of like Orwell predicted, which I do see in, in a lot of instances. Um, so anyways, I don't, I don't see any argument for a state that small because it, it would, you, you'd still need things like a police force, you'd need military, you'd need firefighters, you'd need, you'd need to pave the roads. Um, I'm not really for universities at this point in my life because I see like things like I've made another video on this, like engineers, doctors, things like this obviously need to go to university. And I think some of these jobs should have, um, tax incentives like a doctor should maybe not even pay tax because of just the benefit to society that it, it, it puts out. Um, but that's, a, that's a, that's another issue completely. Um, what I'm saying here is the universities are pumping out degrees that are kind of um, gatekeeping where you pay forty, fifty thousand dollars you get kind of your employment coupon and you can go out and I kind of I'm, I'm 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 not for that and I'm not for a lot of lot of um, red tape and in going into employment and kind of the government has has powers that they, they need to retain to break up monopolies and I kind of went on a tangent there about the universities I apologize but to wrap this up I'm just going to say that the government needs to be held accountable there needs to be maybe a third party fourth party maybe coalition governments um, can be a thing I think the current two-party system is wrong that might be something to look at um, these big tent um, parties where, where, um, there's, there's issues that both sides don't really care about, but they're kind of thrown in and kind of just pushed upon. And that's what you vote for. Kind of like the bills that are, they have one good thing and then they hide other stuff in there. Um, but anyways, I'm going to wrap this video up. I rambled on in the last two minutes. I kind of lost my trail of thought when I went off talking about universities. It's kind of a, a, a sticking point with me. But anyways, I hope people um, like this video. I hope there's a discussion that can come out of it. And I hope everyone's doing well in their life. And thanks for coming to my channel. God bless everyone. And peace out.